Guys, there's been a lot of hype about which exact consulate you should pick for your visa interview slot because a lot of people are basically under the impression that look, last year I made a video where basically I told that look, if you have to file an emergency appointment or if you have to go for an interview, you may actually get rejected if you choose a different consulate which is basically not nearest to you. So let's say that the nearest consulate to you is New Delhi and you're choosing basically Hyderabad, then you may have a chance of rejection or your emergency appointment may be rejected. And that was actually true last year. It was working, it was verified. And the thing I want you to know about this process is that this process keeps on changing every single year. So is this process exactly the same right now? Is there any update to that? That's what this video is going to offer you. If you are going for your US visa interview, no matter which type it is, it could be H1B, L1, J1, M1, F1, whatever you want really. But for the most part, this information still remains to be true, okay? So I would like to mention all of that in this video. Of course, it's going to be a short one, guys. So please bear with me, but I'll tell you the exact story. See, I'll tell you how it works. As far as number one, the emergency appointments are concerned, right? The biggest thing I would tell you is, look, for us, what happens is that, look, we work with hundreds of people. And essentially, when basically, you know, the deadline is coming close, regardless, you know, we have to file for emergency. Even though, you know, depending on your case, you may have a 60 day validity of the emergency appointment or not, right? But either way, we have to basically file for emergency at some point if the applicant is eligible. Now, we personally try to make sure that we are telling the applicants, look, th this is the current emergency appointment success rate. This is what is going on right now. They're approving these many requests, you know, out of, let's say out of 10, they approved five out of 10, they approved only one. What is the case in the last one week? And we tell the app and we basically tell the applicant first, before we actually file it. So it's basically up to them if they would like to file it or not. Because again, there's really no 100% with the EAs as, at this moment. Last year, there was a time that it was almost 100% and I did make a video explaining exactly how you can do it right so that you don't actually get an EA reject in any case. But this year, things are different. People are still getting rejections and really there is no particular way that we have found that would basically guarantee 100% emergency approvals. Hence, we spend a lot on actually monitoring 24-7. Even, you know, basically one manual person can do uh, 10 accounts max, right? So we would basically choose three manual people for just 10 accounts, essentially because we have to cover the 24 hour time frame and every person does eight hours. So eight times three, that's, you know, so basically just to manage a couple of accounts, I would say there, you know, we have about 100 plus people working on this manually. And then there's the automated algorithm, etc. Essentially, we spend a lot of money simply because it is actually worth it. And we understand that you know that slot booking is the most important part. But when it comes to actually having the slot in your nearest location, do you really need to worry if it's not in, let's say a farther look, if it's in a different location than your nearest one? For this year, based on the trend, my answer is no. At least up till now, there have been no such cases where we have seen, okay, look, the emergency approvals are better if you apply to from your nearest consulate, right? Or that the actual approval rates of the actual interview are better if you actually, you know, go to your nearest consulate. The approval rates for first timers are pretty good, but still not as good as last year because they are rejecting people this year. For some reason, they are doing that. Essentially, the people not going to good companies or good college, for some reason, it seems a little bit shady to them and that's where the rejection comes in and after the rejection we all know what happens it's very difficult to get a slot altogether so that's essentially what is going on right now now my most important point for you guys over here is like i said for you guys this year at least as far as i'm concerned i would say that you don't need to worry about getting to the nearest consulate slot but if you are getting it of course in that case it's it's an obvious answer try to get the nearest one Okay, and for the emergency rates as well, if you guys want, what I can do is I can post the approval rates from time to time. I will have to ask approval from the management. I probably cannot do that every week but because it's something that we do for clients. But you know, we actually have to keep on testing that out and then we let, let the people know that, look, this is the emergency rate right now and you can actually apply if you'd like, right? So that's essentially how it goes and uh, we would love to have you on board for that. Just in case, just in case you would be interested in something like that, you can take a look at the Visa Application Help Service on Viagrad. I'm sending the link in the description. I'm keeping that in the description. I'll also have my number, my WhatsApp number in the description just in case you'd like to reach me and connect personally regarding this. Uh, if you need any help directly you want to work one-on-one -on -one in the process so we can do that apart from that i hope that i could give you the information about choosing the right consulate don't need to worry in most cases regardless of the consulate just get the slot it could be a combination of two consulates as well but just get it for the most part all right i hope this helps and i'll see you in the next one goodbye and take care for your time.